How to print your own motorcycle. First, find yourself a motorbike that you can take photos of. A more solid design will make a smoother print in the end. This one's got some intricate bits, so we'll see how it comes out. Walk around the motorbike taking photos as you go. We want to get about 60 or 70 photos from as many different angles as we can. Download the free Autodesk program 123D Catch. Then create a new photo scene and select all the photos you just took of the bike. Select Compute Photo Scene and then put your email address in so you can get notified when your files are ready. You'll get a notification when your file is ready and a link to download it to your computer. Once loaded, you'll find a fully rendered environment with your bike in the middle. You can use the mouse to drag around to inspect the quality of your file. Click on the Animation Path tab to create a flight path following all the photos you took earlier. The default interval between the photos is 2 seconds. It's good to reduce it to something smaller if you want a smoother fly around. To crop the motorcycle into something printable, use the drag and select tools to move the bike so you can crop unwanted areas. Make sure you pan around the cropped bike to check for any little areas you might have missed. Otherwise they could affect the final print. 123D Catch lets you export the cropped file as an OBJ file, but most 3D printers need STL files. So to convert the OBJ to an STL, I'm going to import it into Rhino and just save it as an STL file. Some objects, like this sculpture I'd worked on previously, can be too complicated for 123D Catch by itself. So to fix any errors, I'm going to run the STL file through a program called Magix, which is used for repairing STLs. The Magix program shows up lots of errors in the file some holes and some areas that are suspended and not connected to the main body of the file. It can fix many errors automatically, but I can't work out how to join the separated parts of the file. Luckily there's a feature called shrink wrap, which adds a small thickness over the entirety of the model. I've lost a little bit of detail, but at least it's all one part now, so I'm ready to print. The 3D printer I'm going to use to print the motorbike it's called an UP 3D printer and it prints models in ABS plastic. Once I import the motorbike STL file into the printer interface, I'm able to scale the model and change its position to let me print it as large as possible within the print area. Once the printer is ready, and the hot end and the print bed have reached temperature, it's ready to print. The UP 3D printer generates its own support material to support overhanging areas for printing. This particular print took about five and a half hours to do. All that's left to do now is to trim the support material from around the model taking care where delicate overhangs like the handlebars are.
Now we're finished, how about we take it out for a spin?